Not long after, Elijah Witch shows up. As we fly home, I fill him in on what happened. He's kind enough to write me a check to cover my expenses, and then some. As soon as I'm alone in my office, my thoughts turn to Chelsea. Regan had been the ultimate temptation, but it's only made me more sure about my feelings for Chelsea. I give her a call, and we make a date for a long, overdue dinner in her apartment. So the spacecraft gets higher and higher, and it finally disappears. And then about five seconds later, BAM! There is this huge explosion. And I guess there's just little pieces of Jackson Cross and Regan scattered all over the Andes Mountains. That is quite a story. I mean, what does that make it? Four, five times now you've saved the world. Don't you ever get tired of doing the same old thing? Do I detect a little note of skepticism here? You don't think I make these things up, do you? Oh, who, me? Of course not, sweetie. It's just that, well, I, you know, no one has ever actually seen you saving the world. You know, and you know how people are. Seeing is believing. Okay, that does it. I'm retiring. This is a dirty job. I am underpaid. And when I get through cleaning up other people's problems, I get tossed aside like a loaded huggy. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Besides, Mr. Detective, I love you just exactly the way you are. Warts and all. How did you know about my wart? Mm, lucky guess. <laughs> are you all finished with dinner? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty well done with that. Uh, what do you call that, anyway? Lasagna. Mm. I'll tell you, that's not what my dad had called it. Brutal. Okay, so if you're all done, I have a surprise for you, and I want you to stay right there, and I'm going to be right back after I change. So maybe it's not a perfect world, but right now it's pretty damn close. Maybe no one will ever believe what happened to me, but I'll get over that. Because I'm caught up on my rent, and I still got some cash left over. On top of that, I just had dinner with a girl of my dreams, and now it's time for a little dessert. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Cover your eyes. <sighs> baseball, baseball. <gasps> okay. You can open them. Yes. You know, I've got a coat just like that. Oh, what a coincidence. When I was down in Phoenix, I learned to square dance, and it is so much fun, and I know how you love to dance. It's just that I was kind of expecting something different. Oh, I know what you had in mind. And apparently no one's taught you the true meaning of do si -do. Yes! Yes, I want to learn. I want to learn! <laughs>